Hey guys, so it's time for another review and uh, you've seen a lot of this review for the Andor L4 Pro but I will have a bonus about it in terms of what you use for your camera gears. I'm gonna sell this one because I need an AFO for my injury, right? And as you're seeing, I have a couple of lights here. It's part of the demo later on. And as you can see, there's two holes there. That's the one I'm gonna discuss. But first for the L4 Pro, um, it's basically the same L4 with just additional brackets, um, tripod mounts, so on, so, so on and so forth. And uh, the first thing you'll need to know about this L4 is that it includes this rubber replacement. Mine is already the replacement, so I don't have any replacements anymore. So as you can see, I have a couple of um, um, marks here of usage, but the body itself is um, has no problem, right? It's, it's really uh, still uh, really good. It functions really well. The battery st still lasts about um, probably three hours when you use it uh, extensively but six hours if it's mostly on um, rough work or standard work right it lasts three hours if you carry a lot of load basically and um, yeah the remote lasts about two years on standby and um, when you use it a lot it's about 18 hours and uh, basically when you feel it, it likes it feels metal. The feet is metal, but the body is made off of uh, plastic, right? It's plastic, but it's sturdy type of plastic. It has a couple of um, speed adjustments here, manual, on the side of the device itself, but you can also use the remote. And then on the other side, you will see um, the on-off switch and then the charging port here, which is, which is not in USB-C, it's a USB-B here. So I'm just going to come nearer so you can see it, right? An off, on off switch. And then, yeah, uh, on the other end, it's the indication for the speed it is in, right? And the uh, IR uh, area or the remote area, I think it's radio uh, controlled. And then you have two uh, holes here. It's basically um, standard 5.8 and um, one fourth. Um, kind of um, what do you call this uh, holes and then they included this adapter here which is you can use for 1 4 2 um, 5 8 so those are the ones that I'm gonna discuss as an extra and this area here is the one that turns this one here and then you have the um, the dolly positioning here so if you want to turn it uh, on a different angle so you have angle markers here on this area so I'm sorry, um, I might not be able to um, show you um, how it's going to work with the camera, but I can show you how it really works um, based on how you use it on your table, right? So there's a reverse switch on the remote that it includes, uh, and then you just turn it on basically, and then the other side lights up. It's currently on third speed. And this is the direction here, right? Now it's turning. So you can use the remote for that and then your speed. So for example, one speed. And once you press this one, uh, you cannot stop it anymore unless you turn it off, right? If it's on the body, right? But on the controller, you can turn it on and off. And you can use the controller to be able to adjust the speed as well and the turning if it's a left or right. So it's working like that depending on your position so if I push it on the other side it's gonna go the other side uh, if I'm gonna turn it's gonna tight turn here um, on the other end so basically you can adjust it in the way the turning radius would be working so in terms of the noise it's not so in so noisy if you're concerned about shooting videos with this not too noisy really you won't even notice it unless you have a really sensitive mic you're gonna hear a buzzing sound so that's one concern I had before um, but you can edit it out but uh, basically you don't really hear it as much it's really really low right unless probably you're just looking for the sound itself then you'll hear it but um, it's not a problem so let me turn this off and that's it for that one so that the range you'll have for this one basically you you can use it uh, you can fold it this way, but it's not going to work as much as you need it to because in, 
the wheel needs to turn but that's just to show you how flexible it is and tight it is it has adjustments on the bottom you can actually extend this right you just uh, loosen the screw here <clears throat> and you can extend it so that the turning radius increases as well and you can adjust it for um, bigger load it did carry my DSLR and it works right and I also tried putting in a gimbal on it and then putting the camera on the gimbal and it still works it's just a bit flimsy if you use a heavy load on the gimbal but it does work but if you use um, for example an action camera similar to those and you put it here then it's not gonna be a problem right uh, basically I advise if you use if you use a heavier DSLR for example you don't use uh, you don't use the gimbal for it just attach it directly here and as long as this the floor is smooth you'll have a dolly shot really good you can even put it on top of the table just remember to put stoppers at the edges sometimes because you I did experience one time when I put it on the table I was so excited with the shot it, my camera almost fell off because the dolly move across the table so adding some sort of stopper on the end would help you on that and so uh, let's go to the next part of this video so basically it's about adapters right so as you can see here this one is not has no adapter it's one fourth that's pretty much standard for small devices that's one fourth but most of uh, professional tripods have um, about five eighths of um, measure but there's a lot of versions of screw, but those are the standards, the 1 fourths and the 5 eighths, but there are those who are named M4, M5, M8, M10, but basically whatever is being sold usually is a 1 fourth or 5 eighths screws. And there are long ones and there are short ones, so if there's a, if you need to an, an adapter, for example, for a 5 eighths to a 1 fourth, you'll need something like this, right? So it's a 5 eighths to 1 fourth, so the the female is the 5 eighths and the male is the 5 fourths and there are reverse ones of this like this one is going to be 1 fourth the female and then um, the 5 eighths is going to be the male so uh, you need those kind of um, adapters as I may say I have one here uh, this is male to male this is 5 fourths male to a uh, 5 eighth male to 1 fourth male so there's a male version of that and then yeah, for, for that version, I did mention and I promised the seller that I would review this item for, for them. I bought them bought it from them. Uh, if you like the link, just comment. And they have a lot of, the, of adapters. And I like this one because um, you can use a wrench and tighten it up on the tripod. And uh, this is the, the one I mentioned earlier that is 1 fourth to 5 eighths right and make sure they have these rubber dumpers so it stops your camera from moving or any kind of devices you're putting in so this is very important for all those camera buff and people that who use a lot of tripods lights you're gonna need this on your bag because sometimes you might need adapters for certain uh, situations for example my current camera has um has an attachment to it like a microphone and then a light and then so on and so forth and I needed a lot of adapters similar to this. Oh, my promise to the seller, I would review it. I'm going to comment the video link to this review. Thank you for sending this to me in this way. It's really a nice adapter. I'm going to buy a few more different sizes from you. But this is really well made. It has a rubber and uh, it looks good. Um, this one is just that it's flashy because it's colored, right? It's flashy, but it's colored, but it's usable, right? So you need a couple of those adapters. There are those L adapters as well. So there are shapes to this and there are hooks to this. So if you need something similar to those, then um, you can buy them. So don't be puzzled or sell your equipment because it wouldn't fit. You can basically buy adapters for it and it just costs a, a fraction of the cost, maybe like um, five cents, right? In the US dollars, it's going to be around um one dollar for some right so it's around 52 pesos um and and you'll have the adapter you don't have to buy anything else so yeah i'm gonna sell this i hope somebody buys this um i can't use it anymore it's just on standby now uh i don't shoot as much video in terms of production these days because i have an injury so yeah um this is a good buy for me 
it's always on my pack it's again it's being carried on my bag most of the time to have this cool, cool shots um, taken right um, and if you need more information about this device you'll just go visit Andor and their website and then you're gonna see the L4 there it's gonna tell you what kind of, of um, screw it needs so I've been mentioning 5 8 earlier so just to correct myself it's a 3 8 right so there are 5 8 as well so those one are 3 8 um, we have 5 8 so there's a lot of sizes for this um, screw so the standard that you will need as I mentioned earlier the 3 8 to 1 4 5 8 to 1 4 uh, those are the kind of screws that you need so I'm sorry this one uses the 3 8 and 1 4 hole I couldn't see the other hole here so I wasn't sure but I did uh, check it out again and I can see that it's a uh, um, 3 8 right so if you need something like this it's a good buy for everyone um, you, you're, you're shooting a lot of videos or b-rolls on your YouTube I did used to have b-rolls I did put it away because it takes a lot of time um, to start to the meat of the matter that's where, where my channel is gonna be uh, focus on right um, it's gonna be about quick videos that gets you the content that you need right away so yeah thanks for watching continue to subscribe I'm now on 2000 I hope I get to 3000 soon and so on just to make uh, everything a little more interesting as we move forward thanks for watching